going on, everybody? This is Coach Raj, a.k.a. Mr. Intensity, and my job is to invoke thought and help awaken the world's consciousness one person at a time. Hopefully, that person is you. Now, this video is about how to make your alkaline water, how to get it, how to make it your own way, how to get a machine. We're going to get into all that in this video. Maybe a lot of y'all didn't know about it. Maybe y'all did. But being that, you know, going by my last video, there's a lot of things that you don't know out here about water. And maybe you didn't look at water as important as it is. Water is very important. And, you know, if you can, you know, poison the whole population, well, give them the one thing and, you know, the poison the one thing they actually need to live. Their water and their food. Well, the water, we're getting into that. And the water is very acidic. The water we take showers with, have fluoride in it, chlorine, things of that nature. And we're getting to that stuff in a later video, how you can go about, pre you know, preventing that. Because when it comes down to a lot of other countries don't even you know, let this crap that we, you know, have in our countries, in this country, in our system. So, you got to understand what's going on around you, and then you got to realize how to take care of yourself. And this video is about, you know, how to take care of yourself when it comes down to it. Also, we have reached 30,000, so we no longer have the, you know, 30K giveaway that's done, which is probably why in my live video I kind of doubled up on, you know, giving away free stuff because I kind of realized that, by the time I was going to make another video, it would probably be full. So what I'm going to do, for people who are still entering to the contest, uh, you can enter into another contest pretty much. That is the thousand, you know, the thousand, the uh, thousand club. So for every thousand subscribers, right now we're at 30,000, so I'm going to change. For every thousand subscribers, we're going to give away something to a man and a woman. And if you want to register for that, just, you know, email, I mean, not email, but go to intensityfitnessclub.com. I'll put the link and go to my contact page and just say I want to register. And uh, that's pretty much how you get down with that right there. All right. Um, besides that, let's get into how you can alkaline, naturally alkaline, have your water alkaline and what you can do to protect yourself and get your body truly clean. All right. First things first. Now, one of the most convenient methods to raise pH is calcite. All right. Which is a crushed and screened white marble media, which can be inexpensively used to neutralize Acidic or low pH waters to a neutral, less corrosive effluent. Calcite, a calcite filter will typically weight, raise the pH of water to around about 7.0 and add about 1 to 3 grains of hardness, depending on alkalinity of the level and amount of calcium and magnesium of the water. Now, calcite has the same properties of Himalayan rock salt in that when salt are added to, when the um, rock salts are added to water, the rock stops dissolving when the water hits 7.0. Now, when all the calcite has been dissolved, that means it's time to add more calcite. Another method is using baking soda. They say, they say add one eighth teaspoonful uh, of baking soda, uh, 600 milligrams of baking soda to an eight ounce glass of water. Baking soda has an high alkaline content. When the baking soda mixes with the water, it increases the alkaline properties of the water. It's a shake or stir the mixture vigorously, all right, that means a lot, hard, to make sure the baking soda mixes thoroughly with the water, all right? If you are, a low sodium, if you are on a low-sodium diet, do not add baking soda to your water. Baking soda is high in sodium. This is the way that I do it, all right? They say use lemons, okay? Uh, when you drink women, lemon water, your body reacts with the anilinic, anil, I'm sorry, anic properties, all right, of the lemon making water alkaline in your body, all right? They say, well, this is what I do, y'all. So I'm not get, what I do is I fill a pitcher of uh, water with lemons, all right? And then what I do is I leave it in the refrigerator for about six to ten hours, something like that. And then I pull it out, and that's pretty much when it alkalines your body when you drink it because it's, you know, all, it's, it's in the water. Also, what you can do is add lemons to your water, and it will alkaline your body. So, you know, you can have one that alkalines the water, or you can just add the, you know, lemon, not the artificial lemon juice. I'm talking about real lemon juice, like open up a lemon, and there you go, and, you know, you alkaline your body. You can also add a, a teaspoon of patent Himalayan salt to your lemon water if desired. Adding the salt mineralizes your alkaline water. Another way is you can add pH drops, uh, which that, they contain potent alkaline minerals that are highly concentrated, and you can purchase pH drops at your health food stores or online. Now, follow directions on your specific pH bottle to determine how many drops you should put into your water. Keep in mind that while pH drops increase the alkalinity water, they do not filter out things like chlorine, chlorine, 
and fluoride that can be found in your tap water. All right. Another way is a very popular way. That's the way I'm going to uh, get in the next couple of months. Is by a water ionizer. Okay, water ionizers attached to your faucet and are very user friendly. The water becomes electrically enhanced because your ionizer runs over positive and negative negative electrodes. Doing this separate separates the water into alkaline water and acidic water. Now the way I saw it is um, the alkaline water is going into my bottle, the acidic water is being filtered out. Okay, The alkaline water makes about 70% of the produced water and can be used for drinking. Don't just dis discard the acidic water, they say. Acidic water can, can kill many types of bacteria you can use for your body, you know, washing your body or killing some of the bacteria living on your skin. Uh, purchase an ionized water filter. These filters are easily transportable and cheaper than buying the electric ionizer. They work in a similar fashion to a normal filter. Pour water into the filter and let sit for about three to five minutes. While you're waiting, the water is being sent through a series of filters. Once it passes through the filters, it sits in a pool all right, of alkalizing minerals. These filters can also often be found in like kitchen appliances stores. Another way people have tried uh, done is buying a reverse osmosis water filter. This type of filter is known as a hyperfilter, and it uses an especially fine membrane of filter for filtration. The delicacy uh, of the filter allows it to capture more elements than regular water filters, which ultimately alkalizes the water more completely. These filters can be purchased at a local home improvement or hardware stores and are alongside traditional water filters. They say another way is using a normal water distiller and adding pH drops. Now, water distillers boil the water and put into them, destroying the bacteria and other impurities that may be found in your tap water. Water distillers can make your water slightly more alkaline, but to really alkalize your water, you got to add pH drops to your newly purified filter. Water distillers price in different ranges and different sizes, so pretty much when it comes down to it, you have to use your own common sense. I gave you a lot of ways to, you know, alkaline your water. I mean, like they say, don't alkaline it too much. Don't have too high alkaline because then, in the, in the, you know, it just it damages your body after a long, you know, period of time. You must keep it like at least about, uh, about above 7.0, you know, because that's when the body, that's, that's the body's natural alkaline level. But you must protect yourself and you must use one of these ways. I mean, the, the easiest way for me was the lemons, all right? Uh, the lemons were pretty much simple, clean cut, and, um, it was really easy. Uh, besides that, I mean, that's that's my water video. We'll get into a lot of other stuff later on. But uh, I appreciate the support. 30K subscribers is, is excellent. It's great. Let's keep it going. Let's keep educating each other. Let's keep binge watching these videos. Let's keep changing your lives. Um, I appreciate y'all. So, uh, get my lotion, get my soap. We got more things coming and developing. Uh, the cookbook, um, I'm developing an app that's coming soon to make uh, a lot of things more easier to access, you know, Intensity Fitness United. But besides that, this is Coach Reg, a.k.a. Mr. Intensity. And my job is to invoke thought and help awaken the world's consciousness one person at a time. Hopefully, that person is...